Make a complete mess of everything. Well, that's a, a, a team people do. People love it. Then you name it something like uh, blood sampling gone wrong. They love that. Okay, I never filmed an intro for this one, so we're straight into it. All very professional. Today, we are doing some blood sampling for a local farmer. He's wanted to test his cows for a disease called Yoni's disease. You've seen me sample cows for that before. And we're also testing some calves for a different disease, BVD. Let's go. Gents, how you doing? Hello there. Cool. How many is it to do in total? 25, Adam. 25, yeah. Aye, oh, but you just need to do everything over two. Yeah. Uh, for Yoni's. No, for the BVD. BVD, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Those right, BVD, those BVD, older ones, Yoni's. That's right. <laughs> No, 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 that is, that is, that is right. That's there. Great, and that's it. Thank you very much. It's just there. Yeah. Oh. And then where does it go after it's finished? Uh, just back in there. Then we just rinse and repeat, basically. She's excitable. <laughs> oh yeah. Swishy tail at me. Got his number and everything. Now, now. <sighs> Got it, though. there i think <laughs> getting there it's like and all things i think it just takes a while to yes i saw yeah yeah well, i can't remember which one it was uh, me whinging on about offsetting probably yeah yeah it's just having it's, a rant it's rubbish though, it? It, oh it's total bollocks <laughs> it's, yeah, it's basically do what you want it's like just uh, pay your way out of it if you, dog, you know, saying that you yeah oh absolutely uh, and i think the problem is most people just want to know what to do. They just they just want to get through life and not cause too much damage to themselves and the environment. But they just want to know how, you know, tell me what I need to do and I'll do it. And Come on, guys. Yeah. That's... 
the only it, when I when I uh, looked in our maybe second year, it was about forty percent of cattle clients that made up forty five percent of the herd that we look after. If that makes sense. So on the on the pedigree side, there's often pressure on that side, but and it does make sense on a commercial basis as well. Because if you lose one, it, that pays for at least a few years of testing, you know, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. And, and I always say, you know, if you haven't got them, you should be selling replacements. I remember when it was very prevalent and it was a horrible thing. Some of you, and maybe even some of the farmers, might be wondering why Elliot's going to the bother of getting these cows through the race paying me to be there, paying the lab to process these samples. The biggest reason, of course, like the vast majority of farmers, is that they prioritize healthy stock. Because not only is that important to the welfare, but also means there's no disease holding them back. Unhealthy animals will never perform as well as healthy ones. To some extent, different breed societies and also farm assurance schemes are increasingly mandating infectious disease control for diseases like Yoni's and BVD as well. Last and definitely not least, the cost of testing is outweighed by losing animals to Yoni's, so it makes commercial sense as well. So this is the stock ball. He is a ling just like the cows and he is really exceptionally quiet. He's exceptionally calm. He still knows what's up though and doesn't want to come down the race and into the crush to be blood sampled. He knows he's that big that even if all four of us were to push against him, he could just lean right back at us and he's not moving anywhere. Now, I wouldn't attempt this even with most bulls, but because there's plenty of people here, because he is so quiet, I go to try and sample him where he stood. First things first, I check over my shoulder to make sure I can hop over that gate if he reverses. And just like that, without him even noticing, he just about lifts his head out of the bucket there. We've got our sample. So that's every animal over two years old sampled for Yonis. All we've got to do now is get five to 10 animals between nine and 18 months old. These ones are from the previous spring, so they're about nine months old. These we are using as sentinels for the BVD check test are fairly amenable as well but some are naughty teenagers oh come on come on where are you going man All we need now is a couple of signatures from Elliot and myself, a quick run down the form, and then it's all ready to go back to the practice and be packaged for postage. That's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you're not already subscribed, don't be afraid to click the subscribe button, ring the little bell next to it, leave me a comment and give the video a thumbs up. I'll catch you next time.